Unfortunately, here in Kentucky, we have to wait about two more weeks yeah. until we start the high school football season, fingers crossed, uh, pending the yes. news in tomorrow's meeting with the Kentucky Department of Education. But we're remaining optimistic yes. here at My Town TV. We're going to play football. I'm yes, just going to go ahead and are. say it. Yes, uh, hopefully it works out. Yes. Uh, but we have to wait a couple weeks in order for that to happen here mm -hmm. in the Bluegrass State. Over in the Buckeye State, though, yes. we've got some pigskin action tomorrow Absolutely. as the Ironton Tigers travel to Portsmouth at Trojan Coliseum. We're going to have that game live for you here on My Town TV. Greenham County, Russell. A football game that, frankly, in this area needs no introduction. Spicing up sports here on the farm this week. I'm Ben Spicer. We're going to be previewing a big district matchup, the backyard brawl on tonight's episode of the show. You know, the Tomcat might not be the most feared creature in the animal kingdom, but the two-headed beast in the Ashland backfield this season of Blake Hester and Keontae Pittman should definitely be revered. Ashland entered the matchup averaging 261 rushing yards per contest against a Raceland team who was allowing 169 a game. Your head coach Being is obviously uh, your dad, so yeah. <laughs> i got to ask just what's that like? And also on top of that, how many uh, games have you played head-to-head -head with him and, and who maybe has the, with the winning record in that series? Um, <laughs> I mean, I haven't played against him since I was in the eighth grade, so it's probably been like four years. Oh, he doesn't he, want to smoke anymore? He doesn't. Oh. He doesn't want <laughs> Hey, Ben Spicer here with a special segment of the Core Health Centers of Ashland Players of the Week. You might be wondering what's going on. We don't have the typical background of the My Town TV studios. Well, we've been here at Moorhead State University all week, as you probably know, broadcasting the 16th Region Boys and Girls Basketball Tournaments. So, of course, our Core Health Centers Players of the Week have to do with that. And we had, oh man, a pool of candidates to choose from. 16 different teams being represented here at LST Johnson Arena. So it was hard to dwindle it down to just one. I didn't see any, I didn't see any cutouts of Coach Huddle though. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good thing. thing yep. Well, guys, I have a little surprise here. The ugliest cutout of all time. Uh, you might want to see here. <laughs> I don't think we'll see that in the crowd anytime soon. But uh, uh. I had to get that made just because. Uh, I just learned how you can make it, how easy it was, and I thought, wow, that's a pretty cool idea. So uh, the ugliest cutout you've ever seen right here, guys. It was a monumental day for the Raceland Worthington School District. After over two years of hard work and construction, the brand new Raceland Middle School opened its doors to the public for the first time with an open house today. With all that went into this project, those closely associated with it were happy to see it all come to fruition. Ben Spicer here from LST Johnson Arena on the campus of Moorhead State University. Another year of the 16th Region Tournament. We decided this year on the MyTown TV Sports Network, they're going to give you an inside access look at some of the stuff behind the scenes here at the Region Tournament. So joining me now is Boyd County Band Director John Johnson. Uh, 14th year that you've been here now. Yes, sir. 14 yeah. years in a row at the Region Tournament as well. So Yeah, I've been to at least one game for 14 years. Is there so. some sort of correlation or your good luck charm? Uh, I don't know that anybody at Boyd County would say that, but <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back into the 2020 preseason coaches show here live from Smokin' Jays in Boyd County, Ben Spicer, joined by Mike Miller, Tyler Rowland, and East Carter head coach Tim Champlin. Now we've talked with West Carter's Daniel Barker and Fairview's Daniel Armstrong. Now we've got Coach Champlin. Coach, thanks for joining us. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. It's been an unconventional, weird year so yes. far for you. How have you guys been handling things over the last couple it, weeks and months? Grady, we're going to ask you a hard question first. Oh, gosh. You're on the spot. This is a hot seat question, probably the hardest question we're going to ask all night. Now, I want you to be honest. Right. Do you have the best hair in the SOC 1? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, just no one really compares to it. <laughs> Mal, are you agree with that? See, that was our first problem. Uh, we had a slow start at the beginning of the season, and it was because we didn't have a guy with the ball. <laughs> we got that done, and then we bust out for sure. What do you have to do to be on the list? Actually, I know what you have to do to be on the list. You have to be from Lexington, Louisville, or Northern Kentucky. They, they don't care about kids from Northeastern Kentucky, and it's pathetic, and I don't know why it's happening, but we see this at multiple sports. And it's honestly inexcusable, especially when we have people up here who put in the effort, submit the stats, and get these people everything they need to include these kids, and they still don't list them on here. I, I just don't understand how there's nobody from northeastern Kentucky even on the honorable mention team. It's inexcusable and it's pathetic from the Associated Press that this is even allowed to happen. Uh, we told you uh, that we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up on Friday night, and I'm sure you guys know what's coming Friday night. Russell's going to try to run the ball right at you. Uh, as defensive guys on the defensive side of the football, how much do you look forward to a game like that? Honestly, the defense is, uh, we're all pretty hyped up for that game. 
honestly, we want to go out together, and we think as a whole, uh, including all of us, that we can come out and play Smash Mouth Ball just like they can. What's up, everyone? We're here at the Armory Smokehouse. Let's try this again, Mike. Uh, ben Spicer, Mike Miller here at the Armory Smokehouse here in Ironton for the Trevin Pendleton Coaches Show. Mike, uh, a big week last week. We had Thanksgiving. Yes. Ohio State destroyed Michigan again. What is Absolutely, it? Yeah. Ten years now, yeah, and something like that, that. That's become just kind of like a scrimmage. It's, for, a, it's uh, a yearly for tradition. Ohio State, yeah. 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 And then on top of that, we've got your Ironton Tigers. Get us set to play for a state championship. Absolutely. How about that? That's exciting over here. I've 